Hello, this is Brian Klein from Thunderhead Engineering, uh, developers of PyroSim and Pathfinder simulation software. Today I want to talk about using Google SketchUp with the DXF and STL export uh, plugin to PyroSim for CAD import. This will let you use a little more complicated geometry than you can build in, in PyroSim directly and at no cost with the free version of SketchUp and the free plugin. So we'll get started. First thing you'll need to do is go to the PyroSim website and get a trial version to test out unless you already own a copy, which if you do, thank you. Once you have PyroSim installed, uh, go download a copy of Google SketchUp from sketchup.google.com. And then you'll also need to go to this website, Guitar List, which is kind of a random name, but on the site you'll find this um, plugin file that's available. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can just click this link here, and that'll download a Ruby file to your computer, skp2dxf.rb. Once you have that Ruby file, you'll want to drop that in your plugins directory, which will be C drive, program files, Google, Google SketchUp, plugins. Just drop it in there. Okay. Once you've drop that in there and you launch SketchUp you, to double check that the plugin's installed. Just go to Tools and you should see Export to DXF or STL. So now let's do some pretty, pretty quick geometry. Um, we'll do kind of a oil tanker uh, or an oil tank type model here. So I'll just extend this up to here. Let's say we'll want that at 15 meters. Okay. And I'll add just a little bit of complexity here with um, kind of a sunken um, little lip on the roof. So we'll push this down just a little bit. And then uh, finally, I'm going to add a little kind of side building here to the. Where does this track? Bring it right out. Like that. There. Okay. So now we've got a little kind of more complicated shape, a little side building and everything. Let's go to Tools, Export, and you get an option here. You could have just selected an object or two from the model and exported that. Um, but here, since this is the only object I have, I'll just export the whole model. You need to pick your units. So we were doing this in meters. And then the two best options here are Polyface Mesh or STL. There's two different. There's some differences between the two, and I'll explain those. So we'll start with Polyface Mesh, and just save this out to the desktop. I'll call this Tank One. Put the X up, and it gives you a little bit about the export. Now I'll do the same thing, and I'll export to STL, so you can see the difference. And we'll call this. Tank one dot stl. Okay, so we'll minimize this. I'm going to Pyrosim. We're just starting with a clean slate here, and we'll import CAD file. And we've added in the more recent version of Pyrosim the ability to pull in not only DXF files but also STL files. So let's first do our DXF. It's on our desktop. Tank one. Open. There's only one layer. The units are in meters. You see that our meters match our model. There's some additional settings here where you can import colors, import empty layers, your background image. I'm going to turn this off. And then it, what entities you want to import in the DXF. So we'll just leave the defaults there and say OK. And here we have our tank model, just like we have it in SketchUp. Change the color of this. I'll just make this a blue so you'll know that was the DXF. Okay, and I'll move this. I'll move this whole object over out of the way. So we'll move it on the x axis by 100 meters. Okay. So 
on. Okay, so now we have our first one. Now let's import this ESTL. Same thing, STL. It's a little bit different dialogue here. You want to pick your same units, meters. This is um, how it connects faces with the corner vertexes if it welds them together to make the same vertex if they're close to one another. Here we want this uh, brought in as an obstruction. You could have a pick a surface if you wanted uh, that had already been defined for your surfaces. And this is the important one here to convert to solid obstructions. So now we have our new STL file. And one thing to notice is the DXF comes in as a group of faces. And as you move around, you can find these faces on the object. So they're all just surfaces that we can um, have rasterized, but there's no, uh, within, within these faces, there's nothing solid, whereas this is one solid object with no faces, which has some advantages for assigning uh, surfaces that require, um, you know, the thicker obstruction uh, to be used. But you'll see that the geometry looks pretty much the same um, between the two. Okay. That's about it. Once you have these in here, you can then, we'll create a mesh just so we can see how Pyrosim would rasterize these two objects. And I'll just go to uh, Let's do this, we'll go 100, 35, using the suggestions, and 8, keeps our ratio close to 1, 1, 1. Okay, and now we can just preview here and see the geometry that we would get in FDS. And you can see some differences here in how the faces are converted um, on the DXF versus the STL.